Hello, I'm Elliot Morgan. Now, who doesn't love a good protest? Am I right, Elle? Oh, right you are, Meg. Especially when it involves calendars of the sexy variety. In what I'd like to dub the scantily clad calendar caper, boom, two individuals stole over 100 calendars of men and women in what they deemed to be degrading outfits. The thieves left behind protest signs that carried messages like, sorry, misogyny is out of stock, and women are people, not fantasies. The total damage from the theft tops $2,000, the burden of which, in a really unfortunate turn, falls upon the shop's owner, not the, you know, manufacturers of the calendars themselves. A post on JesusRadicals.com, a website that describes itself as a Christian anarchist blog, we go to church and then we burn it down. They took responsibility for the theft, saying, quote, every day on the way to work, we had to walk by this kiosk. Each passing encounter forced a specific sexuality and beauty standard upon us, and we couldn't take it anymore. We were sick of being told that our worth is equivalent to what aesthetic pleasures our bodies can afford someone else, typically a man. The post goes on to encourage encourage people to mimic their actions, saying, quote, if your environment disturbs you, disturb it. Okay, uh, yeah, so while I understand uh, that they could have theoretically been offended by the material offered at the store, maybe don't steal things, okay? Regardless of what your intentions may be, that does not justify actually committing a crime, especially over calendars. The post goes on to give tips on how to copycat the crime without getting caught and ends with the quote, this was and should be easy and fun. But my question is this, did you ever stop to think in your super fun crime time that the person you hurt most was the owner of the shop? She didn't produce that calendar, but she will have to pay for it. If you're gonna try and effect change, maybe you should make sure you're targeting the actual enemy, not an innocent bystander. As a result of the loss, the shop's owner said she's lost most of her profits for the season and will no longer be able to give her employees Christmas bonuses. It's also important to remember that while you may or may not agree with every calendar's contents in the world, I do think there are a couple calendars out there that we can all get behind. Of course, I'm talking about the men and women of YouTube calendars featuring all of your favorite source-fed and source-fed nerd hosts. They're awesome and should be procured legally by all. You can grab those goods by going to the Project for Awesome Indiegogo campaign, which is linked in the description down below. All the proceeds are going to a really awesome cause. Oh, also don't forget, you can go to your app store using your iPhone and download the brand new source-fed app and get notifications anytime we at source-fed upload a video or source Fed Nerd or Four Human Peoples, and you can check them out. It's brand new, it's really fun. Go do it. And while you're down there, like and subscribe to the video. Click these annotations. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Meg Turney. Go in peace. Go in We're peace, cut you. Yeah. <laughs>